Hey everyone, it's Mandy from Designs by Miss Mandy and today I'm excited to show you how to create and cut out stickers with your Cricut. So I'm starting right now as always in Adobe Illustrator um, and as you can see I've created these cute little pumpkin designs and I'm going to show you how I can turn these into my own stickers from home. So if you look closely at the pumpkins you can see they have a whole bunch of little vines on them and other little intricate things that the Cricut would have kind of a tough time cutting out if I were to just um, save these as an SVG file and put it in design space as is. So what I want to do is I want my Cricut to cut like a bubble cut around the pumpkins. So if I take these over to a darker background you can see that I've already created a bubble cut um, around these that I want but I'll show you how to do that really quickly. So you can do the same thing. So after you've created your designs, I'll put this on a dark background so you can see. Um, what you want to do is copy your design, so Command C, and then paste behind Command B, or um, uh, copy, uh, go to Edit, and then Copy, and then Edit, and then Paste in Back. And so right now I have the back one selected, and for color, fill I want it to just be white and outline I want it also to be white and I'm gonna make the outline pretty heavy 10 points okay so as you can see it makes a whole bunch of these so it outlines it pretty good but in a few spots where there were kind of pointy things like the leaves it makes it um, kind of crazy <laughs> Um, and so what we can do to alleviate that, I'm going to hide the pumpkins up front really quickly. And what you can do is we're going to go to object with it selected and you're going to go to, whoops, object and then you're going to go to path and then you're going to go to outline stroke. And that's going to get rid of your stroke altogether and everything is going to be editable as a uh, fill would be. So then you can take your white arrow tool and come in and adjust these so that they're, you know, not so far off. And you can be as precise or as not precise as you want to be, but um, for a, just a little bubble cut around your stickers, it doesn't need to be perfect or anything but slightly less crazy is always nice. If you have a file that's not that doesn't have a lot of pointy edges, you may not even have to go in and do this step, but I thought I'd show it just in case. Um, once you have it the way you want it, um, we can hide this, and you would just select everything, and then you'd go to Pathfinder, and if you don't have that in your toolbar, you can go to Window, and then click on Pathfinder, and then you're gonna click Unite, and that's gonna, you can see how everything is overlapping, that's good, that's what we want. Um, but there's a whole bunch of shapes right now, and we don't want a million shapes, we just want one. So there you go, you can see all the shapes that were overlapping are now combined. So, anyway, so that's how you can make your um, bubble cup for your stickers. Another good thing to do is right now you can see that our bubble cut, I'm just going to keep calling it that, <laughs> is all in a group. It's still, all these pieces are technically separated, so I could select them on their own. Um, but it's always good when you're making SVG cut files to compress things down as much as you can. So what I would do to clean it up is with everything selected, I would make it a compound path. And you can do that by hitting Command 8 or going to Object and then compound path, there it is, and then make, and then as you can see over here in the layers panel, I'll undo it so you can see it went from a group of a whole bunch of things to just a single compound path. So there you go, and you have your bubble cut. I'm going to not go with this crazy one, and we'll just hide this again and get our regular one over here that I already did. Um, so now I'm going to save this as an SVG file. To do that, I'm going to get rid of all the extra stuff that I don't want. 
saving in my file. I just want the things that are going to print and then cut. So now I'm going to go to File and Save As. And I'll be, just call these pumpkin stickers. Two, since I've already saved one, as you can see. Okay. Okay, now I'm in Cricut Design Space and I've opened up a new file. Now I'm going to go to Upload Images. Click on Upload an Image, Browse, and then find the file that I just saved, Pumpkin Stickers to SVG. Select it and insert it into my canvas. All right. So as you can see, everything right now is selected, and that's good, that's what I want. And you're gonna click ungroup, and it's gonna separate everything, and then you're gonna have to select it all again. This is, we're making a print then cut file, by the way. Um, and you're gonna click flatten. That's really important. That's what's going to make it a print then cut file. As you, if I undo that, you can see beforehand it had everything um, as cut, which we don't want. We only want it to cut out the very outline of it, or bubble cut as I've been calling it. So let's redo that and just have everything. So it'll show a little printer icon next to it, the whole thing now, meaning that it's going to print it and then cut it. Oh, and I forgot to mention beforehand, and this is really important, when you're making print and cut files, your artboard can't be bigger than about five and a quarter inches wide and about eight inches high. And that's because of the registration marks that are going to print when we do a print and cut file. So, um, so yeah, just keep that in mind. Five and a quarter inches wide and about eight inches tall. It maybe differs slightly, but that's about the magic number that I've found. That's a safe number. So, all right, so now we're going to click go. Make sure your printer's on and has ink. I hope mine does. <laughs> and so there's a few settings. Um, right here it says bleed. Since our outline right now is just white, we don't really need to have the bleed on. It's not going to make any difference. These are the registration marks I was talking about, these black things. That's how the Cricut's going to read the paper. And then um, if everything looks good, you have your paper size in there, you're good to go, then you can click go. I need to turn my Cricut on. Okay, so first thing you need to do with any print and cut file is print the page. So I'm going to do that and then I will pick up from there. Alright, so as you can see I printed up my pumpkins and I'm ready to do my cut now. Um, if you look at your Cricut machine, you need to set the dial to custom when you're doing stickers. And over here in the drop down menu, you want, you want to select 3M post-it notes. Um, there's an option for stickers in there. I've tried that setting and it doesn't work as well, surprisingly. So 3M post-it notes works great and that's what we're gonna do. So once you have your paper set and loaded, um, it's just a regular blade that I'm using for this one, and all you need to do is hit the go button. So my stickers finished cutting, and here's the results. Everything went well, the bubble cut went nicely, and I can just easily peel these off without a problem. So that's how you can make stickers with your Cricut and Adobe Illustrator. Thanks for watching!